it is such a gloomy gloomy day it's so cold should i take off my gown like like if i do this video wearing a gown because it's so cold guys okay let me take it off anyway <laughs> Jeez, okay, let me get a blanket. Sorry. San Manani, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Oh, I'm so cold. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. It is a very, very cold day in Johannesburg. I mean, we had the snow just this week and the stuff. Um, yeah, so... I just wanted to chit chat this is not it's just a chit chat like it's not a structured video in any sense it's just a chit chat yeah we're just chatting um sorry we just um chatting so i was thinking the other day right and um i'm just sitting thinking that do you know um Sorry about that. I keep getting disturbed. There's people in this house, so it's quite, it's quite noisy. And I just, just, I chose the wrong day to do this video, honestly. Anyway, so I was saying, um, I was thinking the other day just to myself, Wuti. Like, I was just thinking, Jay, about biotechnology and just the state of unemployment in this, um, in this course and what I recommend it. And personally, listen, <laughs> listen, let, let me just share my own experiences. Let me not tell you what to do, whether you should or should not do something. You know? Sorry, anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's pause it there. I'm Tandaluti, by the way. Sorry if you're new here. Sanbunan, Gamalam Tandaluti Lamini. I am a biotechnology graduate from the University of Johannesburg and I am currently doing my I nearly said my PhD, ah. <laughs> my advanced diploma in quality. Right? So that's me. Hi, if you're new there. Sorry, it's been a while since I didn't greet in my videos. Sorry. Rude. Sorry. So anyway, as I was saying, I was sitting here thinking you know, um, there's someone out there who's probably doing a trick right now and they want to study biotechnology next year. Okay, let's hear me out. Hear me out. Don't make biotechnology your first option. All right? Don't make, like, like, let it be your second or third option, like your last resort when you're desperate. Because really, I'm looking at the state of, J, how things are going, the um, unemployment rate. Like uh, South Africa, as it is, is a country that is very high in, in unemployment, right? As it is. And J, it's just, it's unemployment is high, and if biotechnology in South Africa is not that big in any case. So, J, you, you know, the market is very, it's, it's, it's it's crowded you know spanning in the market um and it's not just biotechnology students that you are up against that you are competing with we have there's biotechnology students there's food technology students there's analytical chemistry students all three of us here these students are all gunning for the same jobs we are all gunning for the same jobs we are all going in the same industries so spanning and imisebenzi as much as we are you know what i mean and listen i'm not this video is not to in, to discourage anyone and it's probably going to be all over the place but just hear me out i'm not to discourage or to encourage anything i'm just saying that before you get into it and i'm, I'm not talking about people who are already in it like if you're already doing first year second year third year in biotechnology it's any it's any i'm going to love again you know the uh matrix students that don't know and they just discovered it and they are about to enter into this industry i'm talking about those people those people they don't know what they're up against shame and i i'm not 
like I said, I'm not discouraging or encouraging anything because in as much as there is the bad, there is the good as well. You know, I know a lot of people who after graduating, they got jobs easily. They quickly got jobs. They got stable jobs. They're working, you know, they were stable. They bought cars. They've got their own places, um, apartments. They, they're stable. They're living gashe and they're doing well right um so i'm not just it's not to say that it's not possible to get a good job but also as 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 much as i know a lot of people who have graduated and are working and are doing well for themselves i also know people who struggled to find jobs you know i know a girl who she was doing microbiology. She was studying microbiology at Northwest University. And after graduating with her BSc, she stayed two years without working. I know another one who I used to work at at my previous company. She was doing, I think, biotechnology at UP. And she couldn't get a job. And she went on to do her honors because she didn't get a job. You know, Ushale, like a year and five months or so being unemployed and um sure there's a couple of people i know another girl who i went who i was in the same class with she got her in-service training worked after in-service training she never worked again so she's been like unemployed for maybe almost two years quite some time now so there's a lot of people that i know and i've had conversations with and interactions with who told me how much they struggled there's another one yes there's another one and I, i'm holding myself because i don't want to say people's names there's another one who i also worked with in my previous company she was also uh she also got in service training after in service training she didn't get a job she had to move back home in Limpopo for like a year and some months and then she came back and then she looked for a job. like it was just for her you know but now she's working she's working at the previous company that i'm i was at she's working she's stable righty you know she just moved into her, her new place so you know i i just want you to weigh your own options i just want you to weigh your own options to see what you know because there is the bad and there is the good as well and there's a lot of competition we young tall and uh, ooh, how long is this video i can't even tell and now the thing is most sometimes there are times where like for me for instance where you find a job but you don't find a job in the field or in the position that you want you know what i mean like i end up i ended up in the sales position where you know um i'm not i would like i'm not passionate about sales i'm not passionate about sales at all but here i am because that, that's the only job i got it's like someone who maybe is passionate about microbiology or chemistry and you want to end up in the chemistry lab or in a microbiology lab you know with biotechnology you just never know you know chances are you might end up in the food industry working as a quality control technician you know um and not necessarily in in microbiology or not necessarily in chemistry doing the things that you enjoy doing you know um i i, I got to, i think i got one or two no two two requests i think um not requests sorry dms from i can't remember them but they were saying that they are uh, do i advise someone to study biotechnology if they want to get into pharmacy pharmaceutical studies and i say no because like i said with with biotechnology you just never know where you're going to end up you know um so if you want to do pharmacy specifically you want to specialize in that i say you go study pharma pharmaceutical studies very straight if you want to do microbiology and specialize in that do microbiology straight as a course if you want to do chemistry do chemistry straight as a course don't go through biotechnology because with biotechnology there's only very little uh, pharmaceutical companies for example or microbiology com companies for example there's very little and most of them 
okay not a lot of them are taking my uh, biotechnology students some of them are but like i said sibaningi sibaningi in biotechnology so if you are looking to specialize in something specifically rather go do that specifically and don't go round her through the um avenue you know so yeah you know would i recommend biotechnology like i said no no <laughs> no there's this guy i used to work with she said to me why do you always paint uh, a false image of biotechnology on your videos and it got me thinking because i was like i never thought i did i never thought i painted a false picture of biotechnology i thought i was just sharing my experiences but apparently when people watch my videos they think i'm encouraging biotechnology and maybe in a sense i am but i don't want people to watch my videos and go oh okay she said biotechnology is a good cause therefore let me go study biotechnology you know what i mean like i'm not i'm not an advocator of biotechnology i'm just merely explaining what it is and my experiences right so don't get it don't get a false don't don't get me wrong don't get me wrong and don't get a false impression of it yes i'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sell it but I'm, i am saying guti it's it's possible you know you there are people who are working and are being sustained in this industry but do not get into this industry thinking as a millionaire because because you are not you are not going to i had a manager at my previous my other company not the, the other one and she used to say to me every day get out of this industry this industry doesn't have money get out of this industry and at that time we were in quality right and then in this one and my at the, the other the next job i got i also had a manager there she said to me <laughs> she used to say she believes biotechnology and food technology are hobbies it's like studying music or drama to her she says it's not a serious course she doesn't she doesn't advise people to do this course because i question it. it's like studying music or arts so yeah that's that, that's just me giving you my two cents you must make your own decisions guys but especially those who are looking to start biotechnology like to start it from scratch please make it your last resort please consider other things before jumping onto this one because there are a lot of people who are not working there are a lot of people who are struggling to find jobs and like i said even if they do find jobs you're probably going to end up in a role that you don't even like anyway because I mean you've applied for hundreds of jobs and the first one that comes to the first one that comes your way is the one that you're going to take and chances are it's not going to be what you want you know like me for example I've always wanted to work in the lab but I've never gotten a chance to work in the lab I always work alongside people in the lab like I always work alongside like quality control technicians lab technicians or microbiologists but I've never been one myself you know and i it's just life not affording me that and i'm starting to think okay maybe i'll never work in the lab anymore like but it's fine as long as i'm gonna get a job that pays me a, de a decent amount even if it's not in the lab anymore as long as in I, I just want money as long as i can get a decent a decent amount in of like a decent salary anyway but yeah i don't know how long this video is this phone like phone has got a car room cash cash so i hope you guys are doing well i don't even know i hope it's recording Ooh, imagine i said so much and it didn't record i hope you guys are doing well um yeah um it's end of recess now i'm going and next week is um, beginning of second semester and oh by the way i passed all my modules guys i passed all my modules guys in quality um in my course so i was doing statistics i was doing research methodology quality planning and implementation as well as quality management systems i passed all my modules i'm so happy i'm so happy ah! 
happy saturday guys i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves uh, yeah um as we're about to step into second semester all the best i'm wishing you all the best please do advise how were the ex uh, the exams how are the how were the exams um how did you do did it go well did you pass did you fail if you failed it's okay <laughs> It's okay. We'll try again next year, guys. It's just life. It's just life. But I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves and keeping warm. Please stay warm. Get And yeah. All the best. Love you loads, guys. Bye.